Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, so welcome to my talk on an exploration of data augmentation techniques for improving English to Tigranet translation. Uh, so uh, this paper was published part of Africa NLP workshop in 2021. Um, so uh, my talk is organized uh, as uh, this. So I will start with introduction uh, and then uh, I will go to motivation of our projects and experiments and results and at last with conclusions. Um, so for introduction, um, most of most as know uh, Tigrinya, this uh, image and text is from Wikipedia. Uh, so Tigrinya is part of the uh, Semitic branch of uh, languages. Uh, and it's uh, uh, it's uh, closely related to Amharic and Tigra, and they are uh, uh, written in the same script. So uh, as we know, uh, Tigrinya uh, language is re uh, use writing system, gives, uh, gives script as writing system. Um, so uh, the motivation of our project lies uh, uh, on uh, Tigrinya, because Tigrinya is a low resource language with a very uh, small uh, digital data that can be used for uh, um, training translation models. Uh, so uh, machine translation, this is the history of machine translation. Uh, at first, uh, rule-based uh, systems were using for uh, translating. Uh, so the, those rule-based systems, they use bilingual dictionary to map words between two languages. Uh, but then uh, a statistical machine translation appeared where uh, models, uh, they learn probability, probabilities uh, uh, between languages, the language models. And then uh, neural machine translation came to picture where uh, deep neural networks are being used, which uh, those models need a huge amount of data to train to be uh, uh, to have a good performance. And this, uh, uh, with this, uh, an issue arrived because most low resource languages like Tigrinya, they don't have enough digital text uh, that is uh, available to train those neural machine translation models. So to solve this, uh, we, uh, we uh, started our research and how to improve neural machine translation in case of uh, low resource language like Tigrinya. Um, so as I said, uh, neural machine translation models require large amount of auxiliary uh, parallel sentences from source language to uh, target, la target language and their performance grows, uh, drops in low resource conditions. But uh, monolingual data is easier to find than the parallel sentences of source and target languages. So to solve the problem of uh, low resource uh, condition uh, in uh, training neural machine translation models, uh, there is an effective method of uh, creating auxiliary data. Uh, this method is called back translation. So uh, by training a model uh, that can translate monolingual data from target to source, we uh, add uh, data that can be used as a uh, training data in the neural machine translation from source to target. Um, but there are a few questions that can ask before uh, uh, doing uh, all those experiments. So uh, some of the questions are, um, so uh, there is in back translation, we need to train a model from uh, target to source. So uh, in, but in low resource conditions, uh, can we use back translation as a way of generating parallel sentences? And how do we use back translation where the authentic parallel data is very small? So uh, the, the backward model might also be not uh, performing well if we have very small parallel data. And uh, the, third, uh, the third question is, in this case, can we use a third higher resource language than the language that is in our, uh, that's, our that's our target? So uh, to, uh, to make the process of back translation better, um, so uh, to answer those questions, uh, we came to this project. And in this work, um, we use three ways of data augmentation techniques. And we, uh, we did experiment on them. And we, um, 
So the three uh, type, uh, types of back translation is, uh, the first is direct back translation through a backward model. So uh, our main aim is to uh, train English to Tigrinya translation, uh, neural machine translation model, uh, but uh, to create more uh, parallel sentences, uh, a backward model is trained with available parallel data from source to target. Then we using this model, uh, we translate the monolingual data and create more parallel sentences. But the second is, um, as we know, uh, Tigrinya and Amharic are in this, uh, the same uh, language family, which is Semitic language. They use the same uh, writing system. They, they are also uh, morphologically rich languages. So there is some similarity between them. So uh, what, uh, what if we use a back translation model that is trained between, from Amharic to English, and then using this um, uh, model, we can translate monolingual data and check its performance. But the third uh, the back translation is back translation through a pivot language. Uh, so uh, as uh, English and Amharic are uh, Relate, English and Tigrinya are related languages. Uh, Amharic and Tigrinya are related languages. Uh, supervised model between Amharic and Tigrinya was created, and uh, and uh, and Amharic is higher resource language than Tigrinya. So a better language between Amharic and English was created, and uh, we have two way of uh, language uh, two way of. Uh, uh, training uh, between Amharic and Tigrinya. So uh, as we know, we have more monolingual data than parallel uh, sentences. So we uh, to use this uh, monolingual data, we created a supervised model also between Amharic and Tigrinya. And then we, uh, we did experiment on uh, creating auxiliary data with these three ways. Uh, so in the experimental setup, uh, the first is uh, direct back translation through the backward model. Uh, so our main aim is to create English to Tigrinya translation, but we created Tigrinya to English model. And then um, we, uh, we brought uh, Tigrinya monolingual data and translate through, translated uh, the monolingual data with this model and fed the parallel sentences that were created with the monolingual data to the original model and trained it again with uh, we using the, uh, the original parallel sentences plus the monolingual data that was changed to uh, English and Tigrinya parallel data and trained the original model. Uh, so this, was, this is the first step of back translation with a second uh, indirect back translation. Amharic and uh, Tigrinya are closely related languages and uh, they are in the, written in the same script. So uh, we uh, use this uh, model as a proxy back translation model, allowing uh, back uh, transfer between the two languages. So uh, we, uh, we brought uh, Tigrinya monolingual data and fed to the Amharic to English model and uh, created English parallel sentences. So uh, using this uh, model, we created Tigrinya to English uh, parallel sentences and fed to the original, uh, to uh, use it to sentences to uh, train the original model. Uh, but with a third back translation, we, uh, we use it Amharic uh, as a pivot to create parallel data. So uh, we uh, created a two-way translation from uh, Tigrinya to Amharic supervised way. So there is, there is parallel data publicly available between Tigrinya and Amharic. Uh, we use this to train the Tigrinya to Amharic uh, uh, model in supervised way and Amharic to English model in supervised way. Uh, so uh, Amharic to Tigrinya model trained with uh, the parallel data uh, available and uh, using this two-way translation, we translated the monolingual Tigrinya data to uh, English data, so we created uh, parallel sentences from uh, so, uh, target to source. And then the second way uh, was uh, back translation through pivot language, but unsupervised way. So the Tigrinya to Amharic uh, model was trained uh, in unsupervised ways. The main reason was that we uh, created this model was 
there is huge amount of non-learning data in Tigrinya and Amharic uh, that's uh, digitally available. So uh, uh, to use this data to and to create better translation model, uh, uh, we trained an unsupervised Tigrinya to Amharic and uh, we created a heuristically, uh, we heuristically created a dictionary between the two languages. Uh, so between the word, words of the two languages and fed uh, monolingual data and trained it. And the same uh, uh, is trained, I'm hurry to English is trained in supervised way. So we, we use this two-way translation to create uh, parallel sentences from the Tigrinya monolingual data. Um, so uh, there are uh, publicly available data sets uh, that I put, uh, there are linkages in the source. Uh, so we use those publicly available data sets to train our models. Uh, so uh, initially we found um, English to Tigrinya parallel corpora around 3,000, uh, 3, 300,000 sentences and English to Amharic the same 900,000 sentences. So as we see, uh, Amhar English to Amharic uh, parallel data is much bigger than Tigrinya parallel, English to Tigrinya parallel data. And uh, for the Tigrinya monolingual data, uh, we created this monolingual data by crawling sentences from the Tigrin um, uh, Eritrea newspaper, from the Eritrea Ministry of Information, and we, we uh, pre-processed it and we created sentences from it. And uh, for Amharic Tigrinya parallel data, we found 36,000 uh, K sentences to train the Amharic Tigrinya model. So when we come to our results, uh, so we have uh, some baselines and we have uh, the models trained after uh, creating um, more uh, parallel data with uh, uh, back translation models. So um, our main uh, aim is to look at the, the main uh, baseline, which is English to Tigrinya translation. So our main aim is to uh, to improve the English Tigrinya translation by creating um, more uh, auxiliary data uh, using our back translation models. So uh, at first, uh, the model that was trained with 300,000 sen uh, sentences was, uh, its blue score was 7.4. So, uh, so the blue score is uh, a metric that is used to measure uh, the performance of uh, tra uh, machine translation models. Um, so as we can see in the right, the graphs in the right show us um, how our uh, uh, original model uh, performed when um, auxiliary sentences are added using the back translation models. So in with direct back translation, which is the opposite of English to Tigrinya, uh, using Tigrinya to English model to translate uh, target sentence to source sentences, we improved our baseline model to 10.9, but indirect back translation that was trained uh, from Amharic to English and uh, using this, uh, our um, performance was not good uh, because uh, we, we just used Amharic to English model and we used uh, this to translate the monolingual Tigrinya data, so it's not feasible. Uh, but the second, uh, P, uh, uh, the back translation that uses uh, Amharic as a pivot language and in supervised format, improved it to 11.5. But the best performance was obtained using in a pivot, uh, uh, Amharic pivot for back translation uh, as uh, unsupervised, uh, unsupervisedly trained. And um, the explanation for this lies in the fact that um, there is more monolingual data available for both languages and uh, the, the, the model was trained with a huge amount of monolingual data, which made it uh, more, uh, uh, has a more performance. Mm. So uh, most, uh, um, so the publicly available data is uh, Bible data that is uh, in Tigrinya and in English. So uh, as we, as you see here, there are most frequently uh, correctly generated words in uh, from English to Tigrinya, and there are uh, Bible uh, words as we can see, and. Um, uh, those are uh, the examples of uh, sentences. 
uh, from source uh, the through translation and uh, with using the baseline model and using the best performing model. So this is a source, uh, English source and uh, target integrina. So this was the translation with the initial baseline model and the translation uh, with the uh, best performing model that is uh, trained uh, using the auxiliary uh, sentences that was created through, through back translation. Um, so in conclusion, uh, we, we explored multiple data augmentation techniques um, and for low resource English to technical translation uh, and uh, um, pivoting through a higher resource language, which is Amharic, uh, and creating more auxiliary sentences. Uh, uh, they uh, gave us the best performance and uh, we achieved be better results with um, this kind of back translation. And uh, this is just initial work, but uh, there are a lot of uh, experiments and a lot of research need to be done to create uh, better back translation approaches. And um, this paper was uh, uh, published in uh, Africa NLP workshop and uh, those are my co-authors and this you can find it in this link. Thank you for um, listening. Wow. I think we can only say wow. Thank, Thank you, you. Yeah, this is uh, this is wonderful and um, we are so proud of you. Uh, Thank you. You you work on Tigrinya language, you're studying in a Swedish university and you're presenting it in English. And you also work on Amharic. So you have Tigrinya, Amharic, Swedish, English, amazing. We are very, very proud of you. And thank, thank you. you for this wonderful presentation, wonderful work. And we all, the organizing committee and uh, our universities hopefully would like to work with you more and we look forward to uh, to uh, collaborating with you in the coming uh, initiatives as well. So I'm sure we have some questions for Lydia, maybe Isas and uh, uh, Biniam, if you can see of uh, any questions and maybe select uh, some questions that would be perfect. Yes, uh, I do see some questions. And one of the questions is from Tesla Gaber. He okay. says- If you wanna stop sharing, uh, Lydia. Uh, 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 Abraham, so before Lydia stops sharing, because there is a question where it oh. talks about uh, f uh, in one of the- Slides? Uh, f slides, yeah. Okay, so maybe, if she- Maybe you can go back. If, uh, kindly, uh, Lydia, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. Maybe we can start with that question and then uh, you can move there. Will that be okay? Um, okay, yeah. sorry, I have to. Okay, the question. Shall I, um... Yeah, you're, you're sharing again. Uh, the question is, is says in your slide 20. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a copy and paste issue or the translation for the errors? That's what it says. Oh, uh, okay. I. So here uh, we. Uh, 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 we are trying to show uh, the original uh, sentences, then the translation with our baseline and the translation when we improve it, the model using back translation. For example, those are, uh, this is a source sentence, the original sentence. And uh, in this uh, is uh, actually, this is our test. So, and this is our um, uh, target sentence, the target sentence, but the original one. And this is a, translation from our uh, baseline model, but the translation with the model was improved using um, box translation. So it's the best performing model. So um, just to show the difference between uh, uh, the baseline model and 
they profit more in their performance. Okay, uh, thank you. You can uh, you can you can unshare. <laughs>